Hi everyone. I'm in the middle of filming my next course for Teachables, which is a course on altered planners. And I thought I would take a break from that and do a tutorial for YouTube to show you some of my ideas on paper tabs for the sides, the edges of the papers, um, pages, and, and, and for the top as well. Um, and I thought I would give you a few ideas to play with. Um, paper tabs are great because in general they go on with glue and not a sewing machine which means you can add them to any book, any journal, any planner. If it has a page edge you can you can tab it. So just thought I would share some of my ideas. Um, this is my Sherlock journal. This is the first junk journal that I made. It's an altered uh, composition notebook and I put tabs all down the side of it, paper tabs. Um, I punched them out and I'll show you in just a minute how I do that and I used the word stickers uh, from the Tim Holtz books. Tim Holtz has put out several different ones and they change unlike the word bands um, the, the metal words, the stickers actually are different each season and uh, he has some for holidays and some with sayings and some with just simple words and uh, most recently some somewhat funny, somewhat um, severe snarky sayings um, are his latest. So. Anyways, some ideas on pre-printed words to, to put on your tabs. Um, let me show you. This is my own planner. Uh, it's an altered Van Gogh theme planner. And I've used quite a lot of tabs in this um, that I printed myself and I attached a button and then put an eyelet in it and and it allows you to dangle a charm. You can actually, rather than wearing a charm bracelet, you can actually go out with your uh, charmed planner. And there's another one. If you're creative and you center it right, you can get the button and the charm on the same, on the same uh, paper tab. It's a little ambitious, but it works well. And then, of course, the buttons on them allow you to uh, color coordinate with whatever look or theme you're going for. I think I've got six different colors of pink buttons on, on these tabs and such. So and obviously they can be used with lace or, uh, or textile tabs in between. So... I thought I would just quickly take you through it. I am making a journal for my daughter and it's uh, the theme is healing and natural remedies and um, apothecary, I guess is, is the word that she wanted to use. So I printed out the words on a piece of cream colored cardstock that I want to use on her tabs. I'm simply going to cut them into strips. So I have the words that I want for the first tabs, and I'm just going to score this. Okay, I'm going to score it just with a little bit of room above. Above the words. And then this paper punch is my trusty We Are Memory Keepers tab punch. And so 
for this, I am going to center it and make sure that the paper on the fold is not above the edge of this so that it doesn't cut it along the fold. And that punched out the front and back of the tab. On ones that aren't too, too long, the words that aren't too long, I'm going to center it to one side so there's room for a button or an eyelet after the word. And then using a smaller font, you can get more and more technical with your with your labels and do several lines even. So there we go. Just stress it right up. And there we have it. And I just use regular white glue, Eileen's tacky glue, Elmer's glue, whatever your preference is to, uh, to attach it on to the page. You can also use printed paper. Great to use it cardstock scraps, um, colored map paper. There's some more hound's tooth that I had used for my Sherlock journal music paper. And, uh, and put your own words or, or whatever on there. So there's, there's that. And then of course, you can also use a round punch and either put a word on it or find a certain illustration that you like to put on it for, uh, for this healing journal for my daughter that I'm making. One of the sections where is it? one of the sections has got is going to have um, information on bees. So I found this Tim Holtz scrap in my pile and there's a great scientific picture of a bee there. And what I'll do is just distress this up. And I cut a piece for the back side. And I will just glue these together on each side of the page to make her B tab. So just a couple quick ideas. If you live outside of the United States and you don't have a shopping buddy inside the United States, to find this tab punch. Um, they sell them, I know Hobby Lobby still carries it, and I believe it's still on Amazon as well. But if you absolutely need to have this punch and you can't get it because you're not in the States, contact me uh, either through Facebook or Etsy or Instagram, and I will try to help you get your tab punch. So, I hope you learned a little something from this. Um, I look forward to coming back. I have not only is the new course for altered planners uh, hopefully going to be finished in the next week, but I have a great new giveaway to announce uh, too. So um, I'll be back in touch with you all soon. Thanks. Have a great day.